tonight on The Prophet. I visit Artistic Stitch in Queens, New York, an embroidery and silk screening business plagued by an identity crisis. It's a multiplex of businesses that really work together. That's what's called a mall. Delusions of grandeur compelled the owner to build out his entire facility with whatever he could think of. So this is the restaurant. This is the sports complex. This is our baseball facility. Is it profitable? No. If I can't figure out a way to bring this company back to its original roots, Artistic Stitch will close its doors forever. The numbers aren't adding up here. I'm this close to going home. Hi, Marcus. How are you? Saloretta. Hey, How are nice you? to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm one of the owners here. How are nice you doing? Good. I'm just, just getting to meet Fabio. Fabio's been with me a long time, so he's uh, my brother-in-law. And we started business when I was 17 years old, then my garage, and it just exploded. And um, look at this. I mean, it's a multiplex of businesses that really work together. That's what's called a mall. It's not really as clean a vertical integration as it could mm -hmm. be. Can I get a tour? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the production part of the facility. They're screening. All screening. It's a nice space. Thank you. This is the sign shop. This is Nick, my partner. Hi, Nick. I'm Marcus. Pleasure. Nice to meet how you. How are you? How much revenue will this particular part of the business do? This did uh, 170000 And how much business did the embroidery do? 1.3. Well, that's all embroidery and silkscreen combined. And the margins on the two of them are? 75%. And so almost $900,000 in gross profit? Gross profits, yeah. That's a lot of gross. This is the restaurant. Uh, I wanted a sort of a unique feel to it. And what kind of revenue will the restaurant do? Last year, about 300000 This is our baseball facility. So how much revenue actually comes from the sports complex? Uh, anywhere from three fifty dollars to 400000 a year. Sales, not profit? Sales, correct. Is it profitable? No, no. OK. How much is the rent here a month? Currently 13000 plus with the real estate tax, uh, another 4000 so about 17000 a month. Whoa. It's a big facility, though. Right, but you built it out. And so yeah. you paid 17000 essentially for a ground and an empty building lease. Yeah. yeah. I made my bed, and I got to deal with it. Between credit cards, the construction bills that haven't been paid, the real estate taxes, there's $660,000. So, made money on paper, but once you service the interest and the principal payments on all of this debt, it's cash flow negative. Correct. What have you sacrificed to this point, Sal, to kind of keep the doors open? It's been a lot. My wife, she calls me. Sal, this is the second electric bill. What are we going to do? This is at the house. I said, just don't pay it. She comes home, she sees a red sticker on the door. We're gonna shut the electric. Every month, that 400, 500 was one more person that I could pay, and I didn't wanna jeopardize my employees. But I didn't want nobody to really, at the end of the day, feel uncomfortable and jump ship. It's crazy. You know, the, the character of a businessman isn't defined by his bank account, right. it's defined by what he's willing to do for right. his people. You know, you've made a lot of personal sacrifices so that the team can be here. You do have something to be proud of. All these contractors, $300,000, have they put a lien on the building yet? No. But they have the right to? Right, absolutely. The option that you have to buy the building five years from now is $2.5 million. Correct. It's obviously worth a lot more money now. Than How much is it worth? Four to $5 million range. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And if five years from now, business isn't doing well, whether you'll admit it or not, you don't really care because you can just sell the building and make yourself a couple million dollars. My mission is to invest in small businesses, not real estate companies. My main focus is making sure that this place stays open, that these employees get their paychecks, and that the business is successful. So my offer is $660,000 to satisfy this burdensome debt on the business, and I'll have 50% of the business. I'll have full financial control. When the option gets exercised, I'm the first person to get my money out. We have a deal? We have a deal. We have a deal? Yes, we do. We have a deal. Come here, guys. Sal's credit card merchandise. This is what we use to pay for clothing and stuff that's in here. You told me the other day it was construction debt. It says it right here. Um, 
Joanne's credit card, Target, construction debt. Yeah, well, I think that's, you know, you gotta... Why would Target be construction debt? No, it's debt? not. It's, it's her living expenses that she was using to, to live. Gotta go buy the kids clothes. Gotta, you know, right. gotta right. go to the supermarket. Gotta go, you know. Like a personal credit card. Yeah. Yeah. And so why would you list it under well, construction? I list that under that. I mean, William I'm... Sonoma, Slate, City Simplicity, City Card Bank. Now would be a good time, right this moment, to get everything cleared up on this paper. This is the right moment right, right I'm, now. I'm sure this Because if not, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm sure this And I've never come back. All right, you know what? Guys, come on. It's, it's, I know it's all for the, for the show. No, it's not for the show, Sal. Uh, it I, is. I, you told me that this was for construction. You lied to me. I lied to you? Yeah. When people are buried in debt, they sometimes make decisions that they shouldn't make. He was desperate. He was in a bad place. Yes, it's wrong, but I'm more pissed that he lied about it. I know that you've been in a lot of financial duress. If you would have told me from the beginning, it's really not construction debt. I was trying to survive. I would get it. I would understand. Honest to God, I would understand. You cannot misrepresent stuff with me. OK. Hello? Hey, Mike, this is Marcus and Sal over at Artistic Stitch. How are you? Marcus? Yeah, I'm Sal's new partner. What? And. Doesn't he, have, doesn't he have to let me know before he does it that he's planning to go partners with someone else? Let you... I don't even know who you are. Well, that's the reason for my call, is to, to let you know that, and also to let you know that I have the check for the taxes for you. And how much is that? It's 52000 And what about all the arrears? And how much... you accumulated by not, by not asking me to do it because you didn't have the money. How, how much is in arrears? You know, I gotta tell you something. I just don't understand. Why could they be honest with me and tell me this is happening before? Sir, is it possible that just you and I could meet for a few minutes? All right. I'll stop by on the way back. Thank you, sir. Michael and Marcus, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Doesn't it seem odd to you that there's always a disconnect in his story? I find you're never gonna get the truth. Have you caught him lying a bunch of times as well? I catch him all the time. Why does he do that? He, he doesn't do it maliciously. But there's a little lying in there. There's a little exaggeration. Exaggeration. Why can't he get his CFO? He doesn't have a certificate of occupancy here? No, not to my knowledge. How's no. he operating? He's operating. So now I got a criminal court violation for the fire department because he never fixed what he was supposed to fix. Has he not passed the fire inspection? They always fail him. My name is on. This fine is a criminal matter. Is he in jeopardy of having the right to buy this building from me right now? What do you think? So the landlord says that you still don't have a certificate of occupancy here. We're using the old certificate because he had a previous uh, CO and it was manufacturing. So if you have manufacturing, uh, you basically could use the building. So are we clear to be a manufacturer but nothing else? I, I, uh, I... It says New York Criminal Court. Are you insane? What, did, what is this court this order for? This is for the fire alarm, which is... Not in compliance. Right, which now it's ready for the next inspection to come in. He's being told that he has to go defend himself in criminal court. I mean, the, I know why the guy's off the charts. He could go to jail. I know Sal deep down is not a bad guy, but he's always lying to me about something. I've had enough, and I need to figure out what it is that's actually at the root of the problem. The surprise is... Oh, no, they don't. They don't, they don't work well in business. That was the fear. And, and I felt the consequences, to me personally, was so... Uh, large for the company to, to not have you part of it, that the fear itself is what um, didn't make me come out. Going forward, just so you know, I can deal with bad news. I can't deal with not knowing news. Not knowing, I agree. Desperate people do do desperate things. And the fact that Sal was willing to be vulnerable and say, I'm lying because, you know, I'm scared you're gonna leave, meant a lot to me. You know what one of the challenges is with lying in business? The numbers. Right. They don't lie. No, you're right. I just need to know that it's not going to continue to happen, okay? Okay. okay. Right. Thanks, Marcus. Things are progressing well. For the retail store, we've changed the name to Queen's Vibe, and we're landing some very large accounts. That one looks good. The lobby has been transformed into a retail store. Half of the basketball court has been repurposed for a design center. Now, you know that whatever you draw is going to go on the machine, and you're going to be able to wear it.
Is that cool? Mm -hmm. I think the effort and the intensity of work, I'll give you guys an A+. Plus, but you have to follow the plan. As for Sal, I feel like he's made some progress. It's lined up good. Yeah, it looks good. Anytime you tell somebody that they made a lot of mistakes and they put their family at risk, it's a humbling experience. Queen's vibe, here we come. I feel like I have a lot of work left to do with him. We're not out of the woods yet, you know that, right? No, 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 not at all, not at all. It's a work in progress. I leave here encouraged, but I don't leave here totally satisfied. We got a bright future. I'm excited. Let's go, come on.